Beautiful. Welcome back to the channel. My name is David. Today, we're going to be doing another what's in my camera bag video because I took a bunch of stuff with me to Comic Con for both work and play. And it was so freaking awesome. Okay, side tangent. I've never been to Comic Con before. So this is my first time going and I'm very, very lucky that my client was able to get me in and, and get me a pass. And and I was there for work mainly to, to shoot their content. But you know, once I wrapped for the day, I got a chance to go explore and just have some fun stuff. And also I was able to bring Neto with me. So that was cool. So he got to experience it for the first time. And it was, it was incredible. It was a great, great experience for both of us. If you've never done Comic Con before, I highly recommend doing it or at least checking it out at least once in your life because this is like the mother of all conventions. Like this is it. Okay, tangent over. So quick disclaimer, this video is sponsored by Brevity. They actually reached out to me and sent me their photo jumper backpack a couple weeks ago. So I've been using it ever since then. And then I took this with me to Comic-Con. So now I feel more comfortable doing a video about it and kind of like explaining why I like the bag and if this bag is for you and all that. Brevity, if you guys are seeing this, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. You guys, I'm, I'm making it as a YouTuber. This is my first sponsored video, so. How cool is that? That said, second disclaimer, I also have an affiliate link with Brevity. And if you guys click the link below and if you decide to make a purchase, whether it be this backpack or any of their other awesome products, whatever you guys buy using my link, I will get a small commission kicked back to me. So this is a great way to support the channel if you guys want to do so. But other than that, let's just jump into the video and go over all the stuff that I took with me to Comic-Con 2024. The Jumper Photo Backpack from Brevity is a camera backpack with urban camouflage, as it doesn't look like your typical camera bag. The last thing you want is to wear a bag that streams, I have expensive shit in here, please steal it. The bag is made of a lightweight, water resistant material, and it's also machine washable. So if it gets dirty, just throw it in the washer and you're good to go. The jumper uses adjustable dividers to organize your photo gear, but you can also configure it to store clothing and other essentials. The bag is also capable of packing a small tripod if you wish, but I prefer to pack water bottle because it's been pretty hot here in LA. The jumper also comes with a pocket that can hold a 16 inch MacBook Pro without issue. There is also a variety of small pockets for storing smaller miscellaneous items. All in all, this bag is very versatile and you can configure it to whatever the situation calls for. The Sony ZV-E1 is the most recent addition to my kit. This camera is super small, lightweight, but it's very capable. It's using the same sensor as the Sony FX3 and the A7S3, but with some updated features like product showcase, an AI chip for better autofocus performance, and so on. Seriously, Sony made this camera too damn good for the price point. Do I wish it had two card slots? Yes, for the redundancy. Does it bother me? No, not really. Now for the lens, I paired this with the Sony 16 to 35 millimeter F4 G power zoom. This lens is crazy lightweight, making it perfect for vlogging or gimbal work. All in all, this is a very complete and portable video package for content creation. The Sony a7C Mark II is also another recent pickup for my kit. This camera is basically a rehoused a7 IV, but in a much smaller and lighter package. Like the ZV-E1, the a7C II has some updated features and improved autofocus performance thanks to that AI chip. 33 megapixel sensor gives you plenty of resolution to play with if you like to crop. Do I also wish this camera had two card slots? Yes, for the redundancy but I could live with one card slot. I had this camera slinged around my neck to quickly grab some photos while using the ZV-E1 on the gimbal for some multitask action. The lens I paired this camera with is the new Sony 24 to 50 millimeter F 2.8 G. This lens is incredible because it feels like you're shooting with a 50 millimeter prime, but it can zoom out to 24 millimeters. Now, if I do need a little bit of a longer reach, I could always shoot in Super 35 to make the long end a 75 millimeter equivalent. I gotta say, this is my favorite lens in the Sony kit so far. 
The Ronin RSC2 has been my workhorse gimbal for the last few years, and for good reason. The main reason is it's small, lightweight, and you could also fold it in half to pack it down into a smaller bag or compartment, making traveling a lot easier. The Ronin RSC2 has been my workhorse gimbal for the last few years, and while it's nothing crazy fancy it gets the job done and i don't plan to replace it anytime soon unless the motors decide to finally burn out and that's all she wrote so here are my thoughts on the brevity jumper backpack i really like this bag a lot i think it's very customizable and it could adapt to whatever the situation calls for if you need it as a laptop bag it becomes a laptop bag if you want it as a camera bag it becomes a camera bag you could also tear it all apart and make it a overnight bag to pack some clothes and whatnot. So it's very customizable. I really like it. It doesn't look like a camera bag. So if you're carrying expensive equipment, you have a little bit of urban camouflage, like I mentioned before. And I think it's great. I think um, more bags should be kind of adopting this philosophy where they don't really look like a camera bag. And you have a bit of peace of mind knowing that your equipment for the better part is safe. Now, as far as the price is concerned, it is a little on the pricier side. It's $170, but I think it's a worthy investment because of what you're getting. You're getting a bag that you can customize to your heart's content. It doesn't look like a camera bag. And if you look at a lot of the bags in this price range and size, A, they can't carry a 16 inch MacBook Pro, and then B, a lot of them start at $200 or $250. So that's something to consider. And they're just camera bags, so you can't customize it to fit at that specific role that you might need the bag for. So that's something to consider. So do I recommend this bag? Yes, 100%. If you're looking for a good quality bag, I do highly recommend the Brevity Photo Jumper Backpack. But with that said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Thank you, Brevity, for sponsoring today's video. If you guys found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, double tap the dislike button twice. Trust me, it works. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video. Hasta luego.